There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London, here on EA TV. Well, the rain has been lashing down in the build-up to this game, and it's still falling here at the Emirates Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Going well. Trying to find the right angle of attack. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much oh, as Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Sarabia, can he play it in? And a very good challenge. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Ben White. Declan Rice. Hobbits! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Just the clearance that was needed. Lemina. Now with Huang. It's opening up for them. Oh, he looks threatening. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Good work by Wolves to get it back. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Nelson Semedo attending to his defensive chores. Saka. White. And support available. 
A oh, tremendous vision. Clattered away. Well, had no intention of losing out. And intercepts again. Bueno. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Decent position for Wolves to be in. Spot on with that tackle. Ben White. It needs an accurate cross. Got to it easily, the keeper. Interception to snuff out the danger. And in the right position to read it. William Saliba. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Pablo Sarabia. Cunha. Now with Semedo. That's a good pass. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Arsenal have given it away. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All in all, a broken counter-attack. But it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Out. Out. Lemina has the strength to hang on to it. Cunha. Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the second half is underway with Wolves behind. Can they turn this match around? And that is going to be a free kick. So a personnel change then. And an effective clearance. Martin Odegaard. Kai Havertz. Bukayo Saka. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Good ball over the top. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Declan Rice. He's given it straight to the opposition. Pablo Sarabia. Nelson Semedo has it. Lemina. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. 
Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Kai Havertz. Gabriel Jesus. Nicely timed tackle. Good distribution. And the danger clear. Ryan Ait Nuri. And fine work from Arsenal to win it back. Saka. And threading it through. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? And time for the change now. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. Oh, nice ball. Well, the defender deserves a bit of credit, to be fair. Yeah, I think you have to give credit to the defending there. Just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment. And time for the change now. Havertz. Yuri and Timber. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Jean Rickner Bellegarde. Arsenal recovering possession well. Saka Timber and return to Havertz after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick Keeper took it cleanly. Well, that one has promise. Can he put it away? Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, as we can see here, the pass from Saka is absolutely perfect, and Havertz's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom.
So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Santiago Bueno. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Marcinelli, is it going to be? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Bueno. Gomes. And pressing from the front. Ten minutes to go. Making progress. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Oh, he's through here. Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. And it comes down to the final five minutes. It is a decent looking attack here. Decides to shoot. What a block! This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Really annoying. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, he can't believe that decision. He's not happy at all, is he? Testing the keeper at all with that effort. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Delightful pass. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Can they profit from this? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Space and time for Arsenal. And a chance, Odegaard! Able to close down the shot. Havertz. And now it is official. The referee brings this match to an end and it's a victory for the Gunners. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, one thing we often say about Kai Havertz is that he's so very hard to silence and that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, he scored one and could have had a lot more. But if you keep getting into the right areas, the goals will come. I thought he was very good today.